Hey, what's up again, everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, I will be reviewing the Y3 Pure Boost ZG. Uh, these are not the Prime Knit version. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. So first note, these are size nine. Uh, I'm usually like nine and a half in Nike and Adidas, uh, but I, I heard Y3 runs kind of big. Um, they say to go half size to full size down, but I just want half size. And they fit uh, pretty good with some like uh, thick socks too. Um, but yeah, unfortunately I'm gonna return these just because the quality is not what I expected. Um, yeah, black box, simple, uh, Orange Y3, and then Adidas and Yoji Yamamoto right underneath that. Going into the box now, uh, you're welcome with a uh, shoelace pack, uh, just a black kind of packet. Uh, Y3 again there. Y3 branding on like everything. Uh, just comes with another set of laces, uh, black laces, nothing crazy. Uh, you got this like card explaining what Y3 is in like four different languages. Uh, just explain that it's a designer brand basically, Adidas and Yoji Yamamoto. Uh, I'm sure you already know, but I'll, I believe all the white three shoes come with uh, dust bags, uh, one per shoe. Um, quality is okay, or it's actually pretty good. Um, but this is just like screen printed on, nothing too fancy, not embroidered, um, but still a nice touch. Digging into the actual shoe itself, uh, let's get this going. Um, so th since this isn't the prime knit version, you have actually a synthetic upper, uh, which is partly the reason why I want to return these, uh, even though I did get these half off when my girlfriend got them for me uh, for my birthday. Uh, so they ended up coming out to like 180 when retail is 350. Um, yeah. So you're welcomed with uh, the tongue right here, tongue branding, uh, Y3. Um, not too much branding going on all over, it's just that. And then on the lateral side, you have Yoji Yamamoto on this middle stripe. Um, and then this whole upper is just synthetic. Uh, if you don't know what synthetic is, it's basically just kind of like a plasticky rubber feel. Uh, I mean, it's kind of, it looks nice from afar, uh, but in terms of like paying for it, I'm just like, ah, it's okay. And uh, the biggest turnoff for me is actually when you walk in them, like each step, you can like, uh, I mean the shoe shoes are in it right now, but like right here, it'll like crease and you can like feel it kind of like snap into that crease. It's kind of not a nice feeling. Um, I mean it's okay, it's not too comfortable, um, but yeah, just with the price of it, it's whatever. Um, yeah, you got suede tongue here. Um, and then the heel lining going all the way down inside is actually suede as well. Um, you have the Adidas, just the normal Adidas logo right there. Um, in the front, just like on the Adidas uh, Ultra Boost. Um, so you got like this hard plastic uh, heel counter right here. Uh, kind of like the Zex Flux. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy once again, uh, pretty simple. Uh, you have this like little panel right here with dots on here. I don't know what this really does, just I guess the design of it. Um, you have this pretty thick black outsole. Um, very different than uh, Ultra Boost. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how thick this is, but uh, it's pretty noticeable. And I mean, you can't even see the ultra, you can't even see the Boost foam through this stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, in terms of comfort, yeah, it's okay. You're honestly just paying for it. The brand itself, I mean, that's how a lot of designer brands are anyway. Um, but yeah, nothing too fancy. Uh, I guess I expected a lot more in terms of quality. Um, but yeah, I was kind of disappointed with walking in them and just feeling this crease right here again. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna actually just return these and see if I can get some cooler shoes. And yeah. All right, that's a little review. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for other ones. Later.